first big thank you to all the creators of the tools used in this tutorial. Okay, so we need to extract the DDS, MMH and mesh files from the game. To do this, you need PyGIF and the FVN dump file. You need the latter in order for the files that get exported to have proper names, otherwise they come out as random numbers and letters. Also with the FVN, it exports them into folders. In this example, I export the high-res textures. However, for the normal textures, models from the game, go to packages, core, data, and then extract the art fp erf file. It can take some time to load it before I ask you where to extract it to, so don't worry. Sadly, the normal Mac converter doesn't exist anymore online due to the Bioware social network having gone down. However, I still had the file, so I have uploaded it. Big thanks to the creator squid. However, if I am asked to take the file down, I will. Until then, find the download link in the description. As you can see, the normal maps look orange. The origin normals look grey. This tool helps you convert them without the use of Photoshop or other programs. Do not try to load the Dragon Age Blender script any other way than dragging it onto the Blender 2.49 application, as it may load in the new Blender and therefore not work, or it will load in 2.49 but come up with constant errors. Also, up until last week I had issues loading 2.49 altogether. I found out it was due to using Extend This Monitor Under Display Settings, so when using 2.49 only use one monitor, not two. Never load more than one part unless they share the same skeleton, otherwise it will cause issues. However, for this tutorial I am just showing importing the heads to create custom hawks. However, for example, if you loaded a human female head and then the human male outfit, it would change the skeleton and cause issues for the human female part. Once you have all the parts you want in the scene, save it. For me, I saved it as Dragon Age 2 Human Female. When you want to change anything in the scene to another skeleton, delete all by pressing A twice and then delete and load your new parts and then save that as a separate file otherwise you may lose the original file. Now to use Ninja Ripper to get our custom hawks. It is best to rip them from the Black Emporium mirror, otherwise it takes a little longer finding their face, scalp, eyes and lashes among the other characters in the area. In the mirror they are on their own. Also, this is the perfect time to take some screenshots of them front facing and side facing for reference. Now for the program Gnosis. Again, if your character was with others and not with the mirror, it can take longer to find their files in this next bit. However, not impossible. The references will help, which you do need if you're trying to create an NPC using this method, as you can't load the NPC in the mirror without mods. Generally, 285 kilobytes is the face, 18 the eyes, 24 the lashes, and 32 the scalp.
Now we'll load the latest version of Blender and go to the file, then open and locate the files we created in 2.49. First one I load is the human female version. As you can see, I have my reference on the right side. This is to see if the end result looks like the right shape. Hide the armature, delete the things called crust. As you can see, the head is facing away from us. You can fix this later in XPS by selecting the root bone, rotating 180 degrees, and then modify, save generic item, and make sure to select modify armature, and then OK. Click yes when it asks if you are sure. We need to import the object files of the eyes, scalp, lashes and face. You won't spot them straight away as they need rotating on the X axis. Move it to the side, either side as long as it doesn't stay where it is, so we can do the next step a lot easier. Now to use the shape keys to create our custom hawk from the object file by applying it to the mesh with the bones. In this next bit, we will apply the textures to the parts as well as name the parts in order for them to work properly in XPS.
as you can see, she now looks like her in-game pick, minus the her and the outfit. This next bit shows a male custom hawk but sped up quite a bit as it just repeats what I've done before. However, I wanted to show another example. As you can see again, this character looks like the in-game pick, just minus the her and the outfit. So for this last example, I show that I import a head I have already made. This makes it quicker to give the parts material and names. So once you have one made, you don't have to go through the process of selecting all the textures again if you make another hawk or an NPC. Just make sure the folder you export the head to at the end has the textures and not to change the textures names.